Hello, Anna, and everyone who's out there. Um, yeah, I'd just like to thank you for uh, giving so many like-minded people this platform to hear their views. And um, I just think it's a fantastic idea. There's been many a time when I think about the world, um, it's difficult to put into words, I think. <laughs> and sometimes you feel kind of helpless, you know? To, to what can we do and then it, you think about it so much and then it just it doesn't fade away but it's like oh I'm only one person what can I do you know I ain't no Che Guevara you know um, so I think it's a fantastic idea this platform and my fingers are just so crossed that it just grows and grows and grows and grows I think you're doing a fantastic fantastic job and I think all the people that are Uploading these videos are, I don't know, it seems to be like a, se a sense of uh, togetherness, which uh, you don't, it's, it's difficult, as I said, it's difficult to put into words, but I just have a fantastic feeling about it. I just, I want to grow and grow and grow and uh, to try and change things change what everything really because it's just so far down the light so far down the line now excuse my glaswegian accent that um yeah it's there's times that you kind of feel helpless and you're like where is it going you know i don't know what it's about i know something that you can't quite put your finger on but it's like it doesn't doesn't sound right doesn't feel right you know um is it about money is it about control? Is it about big pharma? Maybe everything. Um, without wanting to sound like a conspiracy theorist. Um, which was a term which was uh, coined by the CIA. And that ain't no conspiracy theory. That's, as far as I know, that's the truth. Um, we could go way, 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 way back, you know. Uh, if people maybe just took a bit more of an interest in the way things actually work and have worked, you could say for centuries. Uh, one example, but once you start doing a bit of your own research, uh, one example of when BP used to be called was it Allied Iranian Oil, and when Mossadegh in '54 wanted to go independent, help his own people buy out the British end of the Allied Iranian oil. And Churchill got wind of it, phoned Truman, I think it was. He sent in the, the CIA coup d'etat. And that's how America works, you know. Um, I'm not here to teach anybody anything. It's just bits and bobs that I know. I know they say that a little uh, knowledge is dangerous, but I've done quite a but I researched probably for about the past 20 years and it just, if you go back to, you could go back to 1898 when America invaded uh, the, uh, Puerto Rico, the Philippines and Cuba within the space of two years and it's just, it's not really stopped, you know. Anyway, I'm blabbering now, sorry. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of put, I don't know, put it out there, you know. I'm, I'm from the UK, originally from Glasgow. Six months ago, I moved here to Germany. I stay in Germany now. Um, made it by the skin of my teeth <laughs> with this coronavirus. Everything just kind of um, fell into place. And it's not, I'm not any great shake. I'm, I'm here and I'm cleaning. That's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning in an old folks home, you know, in Germany. And um, yeah, it's, uh, everything's just, uh, I want to say everything, every day is just an adventure for me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of still an adventure for me here every day. I'm staying with friends at the moment and looking for a flat. And uh, I just got to this. It wasn't just yeah. I was sick of the I'm sick of the UK, and I'm not. I'm not saying. And I don't know if it's got to do with coming from Scotland or. No one represents me there, you know. And people could say, uh, I don't know what people could say. What could people say? No. the elite don't represent me. In the UK, you know. I just, I just go to the stage, I was like, I can't take anymore. I just can't take anymore. Maybe as well because I'm single, I have, I don't have a 
girlfriend at the moment, I don't have kids, and I just got to that stage, I'm 52, and I was like, I need a change, you know, I just need a change from something, and I, I, I was a window cleaner in, it, uh, in, in uh, Scotland, and um, I decided, well, what are you going to do, are you going to sit here in Scotland or in the UK and just continue, or do you want to try something new? So three, yeah, about three and a half years ago, um, I, I drove my motorcycle with with a friend of mine from um, from Glasgow to Berlin, and we had the most fantastic fourteen days. It was just we had a great time. But before we left, three months before we left, before we we left on this trip, I decided to learn a couple of words in German. And uh, so since those three years. I have been learning German every day and I've arrived in Germany and yeah, I speak German now clear with mistakes here and there and I'm still learning but I get through the day and I speak to people at work and I'm going to, uh, one of the girls at my work has invited me to a party on Saturday night so I'm going to do that. Um, I have my motorbike here, I bought a cheap motorbike to get about on and yeah, life just continues. With Corona here also, I don't know if it's got to do with it because I've got my mind on other things, working in Germany and changing my driving license and looking for a flat. I've not got no that it's not that I don't have time to think about whatever it is, Corona, the bullshit that it is. Um, I've just got my mind on other things, you know. But it's been good for me for these six months to have my mind on other things because the world is. Uh, I don't know, it's not going the, the, the right direction and it hasn't been for a long time. And uh, yeah, I don't have the, the time to, to bore everyone in with all the different things that I've, I know and I've looked into, but um, CIA, as the, they run American foreign policy. There's maybe a thousand and it's always Russia. Russia gate, all the bullshit that you get. America has between 800 and 1,000 military bases throughout the world. Russia has 12. Anyway, I've said what I've said. I've probably not put it as the best way that I could have um, because there's, there's so many different things going on in my head. But I just wanted to join you guys and uh, be part of hopefully something that's going to grow and grow and grow and change things. Anyway, Anna, for the best. See you later. Bye.